Now, many of us carry with us a little battery backup to keep your phone, your gadgets going in your car, in your purse, in your backpack or briefcase. Well, today we're going to talk about a battery backup solution, not just for electronics, laptops, tablets, you name it, TVs, but for your home. We're going to talk about the Zender Super Base 5, and this is a solution that is packed with power. Not only is it packed with power, but it has enormous connectivity, more connectivity than any generator that we've seen on our channel before. And not only does it provide backup power, it provides energy, but it is also solar renewable, which means that once you get this, you're able to recharge it, replenish it, no extra cost, simply by using the sun. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the unit. We'll take a look at the features, all the connectivity options that you have, which are plenty. It could even plug into your EV. So if you're driving an electric vehicle and would like to back it up or give it some power, depending on the device that you have and also the vehicle that you have, it could be 10, 20 or 30 miles more. Isn't that crazy? So let's take a look at the specs. Again, we'll go into how it works. We'll see it in action. And I'll tell you, this is a fantastic investment to back up the power in your home, especially with all the power outages that you've been seeing as late. Now, the Superbase comes in two configurations, one that is 6,438 watt hours, and it supports a semi-solid state battery, and that is top of the line, latest in technology batteries. It also has a second version, which is a 4,608 watt hour battery, and that's Live PL4. Uh, also, high, high uh, performing, and it's gonna be a really safe battery as well. Bottom line is that these batteries are high performing batteries, giving you the ability to charge 3,000 to 6,000 times and still perform well. Now, the unit is big, so you're gonna be looking at anywhere from 121 to 130 pounds. That's how much this thing weighs. This one is wheeled. Thank you, it's wheeled. But it has also some cool features. First of all, it has a handle, that comes out, it's a telescopic handle that allows you to guide it around and the wheels provide really easy movement from one point of your home or if you're gonna take it out with you camping um, or wherever you're gonna move it. The other thing that makes this really cool is that it does support power assist as well as remote control. Crazy! We saw this at CES and when we talked to the team at uh, Zender, we asked them, why did you build a remote control into a battery backup solution, a generator of this type? And they said, because they could. And you know what? I think it's the coolest thing. So literally, you can navigate, have this go around your house with your phone navigating like if it was a remote control car. Now, it is stackable, which means that you can add more units on top of it, increasing the power for use throughout your home. And there's a lot of stackable power. Uh, in addition to the stackable power, it can serve as a UPS, uh, uninterrupted power supply, zero milliseconds. That means you lose power, this thing is gonna keep everything going. And because of that stackable power, you can actually stack six of these in a solid state, giving you 32,190 watt hours. You could go with the, uh, with the one that I have that I'm testing, you can stack four, and that's gonna give you 23,040 watt hours, right? A lot of power here to supply for your home. And keep in mind that again, you can connect this to solar, as we mentioned. Now, let's talk about inputs, right? From an AC input perspective, you have 120 watt or 240 um, output. Uh, and that output is going to give you, again, a lot of power options. So it literally has, and you'll see this close up, plugs that will support RVs and plugs that are going to support high power devices as well as those that we have in our home. So standard AC outlets. Right? Now, for those of you wondering, how does this stack up? Literally, well, check this out. Um, you can have all these batteries connected to each other and also have them connected to your home. And you'll notice that you can have a wall panel that Zender provides that connects to your existing electrical system and it's gonna provide backup power to your home. The difference with this versus some of the other systems that are out there that are connected to solar systems is that this is portable. So it's not just for your home use, but you can actually take the uh, unit that we have with you, uh, tailgating, uh, camping, and have power on the go. Now you have three charging options when using the Superbase. One, you can actually plug it into an outlet and you're gonna get up to 3,600 watts of power coming into the generator. And it's gonna store it and charge it incredibly fast. Let's say you're out or let's say you have a power outage. Well, it could also charge solar as well. Now from a solar perspective, you're looking at up to 3,000 watts of power coming in. That's gonna charge your battery very fast. 
Now the third option is you can actually take the super base to a your local charging location for your EV vehicle and you could actually plug it in to the same place where you plug in your Tesla or other car and it could charge as well. Now one of the biggest challenges that we all have when we're thinking about a generator of this type, any generator for that matter, is how much power do you need? And it's very easy to underestimate the amount of power that you need to supply for the devices you have in your home. So check this out. This is a really good illustration showing you how much power is being consumed in a standard kitchen. So who would have thought that between a blender and a coffee maker, you'd be looking at 1,600 watts of power being consumed. That's a lot of power. Wouldn't even have expected that. Now, if you start thinking about your washer, your dryer, your refrigerator, all these also add up and consume power. And if you think about supplying power to, let's say, your central heat, right? Uh, to be able to keep your furnace going, that also is gonna consume some power. Anything that requires an igniter is gonna require electricity. So this is gonna come in super handy and we have a small device that you can actually purchase, plug into these devices so you can start calculating how much power you will need. Now one other convenient part of the solution is that it has an app that allows you to monitor all the activities of the actual battery. And this is something that it's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth based. Very easy to read, simple to understand. It's gonna tell you exactly how much power you have left. Now these are very durable generators. So you should be able to get anywhere from eight to 10 years of usage based on these charging cycles that we're talking about because of the technology, right? So the solid state one is gonna last you around eight years. And the one that is um, lithium phosphate, that life, version is going to give you up to 10 years with the charging cycles you see here. So this is going to be a long-term solution for your home. Now, as you're going to see, this has more connectivity than any other solar generator or battery backup solution that we've reviewed on the channel. And it also has one of the sexiest startups that I've seen as well. Check this out. We're going to go ahead and power it up. Watch that out. What can I say? <laughs> they had me at RGB. Great LED display very colorful, and again, highly configurable. Uh, the other thing that you'll see is that the display itself has a lot of information and that you'll see shortly. We'll go over this display in a little bit, but super informative, and as you can see, both uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled. But the story here is not just about the looks and the power, but it's about connectivity. And frankly, this generator has more connectivity than any of the generators we reviewed on the channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all the connection options that you have. And I don't wanna call them hidden compartments, but every part of this generator has a connectivity option that you would never anticipate. So let's take a look at each one. Now the Superbase is packed with connectivity options more than any other generator that we reviewed on the channel. And as we take a look at this side, this is where you're gonna see some of the power options. 240 and 120 in the same unit, right? 16 amp, 30 amp. So if you are someone who likes RVing, you know, you basically like traveling a lot, uh, this is gonna be not only great or suitable for a home, but it's also suitable for you uh, when you're on the go. Excellent also if you're someone who does tailgating and wants to power all of your equipment. Now on this side, you have your standard AC outlets. So you have four of them available to you as well. Now on the top, you do have a USB-A. This is gonna be a five volt, 2.4 amp. You have PD, 100 watts. A PD, again, 100 watt USB-C connector here. You also have a PD, 20 watt. And then what you also finally have is another PD, 20 watt. So you have four USB-C connectors. They're gonna charge all your devices at the fastest possible speed. Now at the very end, you then have another five volt, 2.4 amp USB-A connector. Now, again, this is gonna give you a lot of options when it comes to charging all your electronics or any device that would charge via USB-C. Now, the connectivity and output doesn't end there. On this side here, this little side panel, you have more connectivity. So basically what you have is Anderson output, car output, you have DC5521 outputs, DC power button and indicator communication ports all on this side. Now, on the back, you're going to find all your charging options, and we'll highlight a couple of them here. So first of all, let's go ahead and open this. And you have standard electrical, so this is your AC, right? You then also have a overload switch, which is great. And then here you have a toggle. This is going to give you a change in how you do your speed for charging. So you can have fast charging or normal charging. Now, on this side, you have a Zen T2 
uh, port, right? So this is gonna give you the opportunity to not only charge at one of those supercharged stations where you see for uh, e-vehicles, but this is also what you would connect if you wanna charge your Tesla or on any other e-vehicle with the proper adapter. You then also see you have another overload switch here as well. Now on the bottom, you have another area that's gonna support a lot of input. So first of all, uh, this is gonna be your battery port. So if you do have one of the uh, extendable solutions where you have um, one of the batteries on top of this or, or you're mounting these and connecting them, this is the actual uh, battery port for that. You also have a XT90 input as well. Now, mobility is also a priority when it comes to the super base, and I just wanted to highlight the tires for a second. Keep in mind that this unit's going to weigh anywhere from 121 pounds all the way up to 130 pounds. It does have handles, right? But you have to be a beefy person to be able to lift this thing. Uh, the tires themselves, you'll notice that they're very robust, and it's because they're actually motorized. So they're going to assist you with moving that around, and it's also remote control. So in the back, you have these nice rubberized tires, and in the front, you're going to find tires that also have a wheel lock. Now these wheel locks are really easy to deploy. Literally, all you have to do is once you put it in the position that you'd like it in, you just push down and it's gonna stay put. So love the fact that you have it. And the box also includes an extra set of these wheels so that if you have to replace them, you can. Now this has one of the most robust displays that I've seen on the market when it comes to power delivery solutions. Um, beginning with if your UPS is ready, if it's in sleep mode, if you have the motorized wheels engaged, LED lights, it's going to tell you the amount of power that you have, the amount of power consumption. It's also paired really nicely with a app that gives you a lot of information. So a lot going on here, but also something that's really, really easy to read. Now, when evaluating the type of generator you should get for your home, one of the biggest challenges that you'll have is identifying the size of the generator. And that's going to be based on the devices that you want to have powered. So this device right here is a really nice device, and this is a power tip. If you want to understand how much power you need and the size of the generator that you're looking to purchase, you'll want to get one of these. You can purchase one of these before you do your purchase, and then you can plug it into all the devices that you would like to have running in your home. So, for example, I have right now this toaster. And you would think that a toaster is not going to take up a lot of power. Let's face it, all it does is toast. Let me show you something. Just power the toaster and watch that number. Oh my God, 924 watts. That's crazy. That's crazy that it's taking up that power. And so this is going to give you a sense of how much power you're going to need. So imagine if you were to get a, uh, a generator that basically is, has 1,000 watts, all it takes is one toaster for you to use up all that capacity. Now, what you'll see is on the app, at the same time as this is taking place, you can see what the output is. So you basically have what you see on screen taking place, and then what you see what's happening on the app or actually in the unit itself. Now, there's a couple watts different, as you can see there, but this is going to give you a really good sense of how much is being used. Now, what we can also then do is try something else. So here I have a heat gun. Let's turn this on. Right? So now, even more power is being pushed. And you'll notice that the, the power consumption that's going through that first port actually changed slightly. Right? It's still toasting. But then you'll see on the app that we have 1,000, 1 1.9 kilowatt hours being used. And what's happening as that's taking place, you can see the draw, right? How much draw is being used. You can then also see how much, um, how much is left uh, from the battery. So if we were to continue to have this type of draw, you'll see at the very top there, that it's basically going to last one hour and 57 minutes, given the fact that the battery is at 91%. That is at a, at a continual draw. But the reality is that in your home, your largest appliances, like if you think about your refrigerator, your freezer, they're not continually running all the time. So you're not going to have a continual draw like the one I just showed you. So as soon as I change that draw amount, you notice that it went back now to four hours and five minutes worth of battery, and we've used 1%. Now, once the toaster is done toasting, right, you're gonna see that the battery life is gonna change, and this is gonna be pretty normal when you look at any kind of generator. So your power consumption and your duration of consumption is gonna vary based on how much is being drawn at the time. So if I were to stop the toaster, I'm gonna to hit stop, and now the generator is not seeing that draw anymore, the fan that was running right now also turned off, all of a sudden, you'll notice that it went from four hours to two days, 10 hours. And this is pretty normal for any type of generator. But this is going to give you a sense of how much power you have to plan for. 
All right, so we've already pushed the Zender somewhat, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how far it could go. So you can see how much power is being used up just with standard household appliances. So we have our toaster going. Surprise, surprise, 940 watts. We're gonna turn on the heat gun, right? We know it's gonna push it over 1,000, and you're gonna see that coming up with almost 2,000 watts. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on a blender, and this blender, surprisingly, why does it take up power? It's gonna get loud, but watch how much power is gonna be drawn. Now, that was loud, but the Zender, the 4600, didn't break a sweat. It was able to take that and it's obviously able to take even more power. So great, uh, again, performance that we saw there. And you're seeing that as we're using um, all these different electronics, the battery duration is fluctuating as we described. Now, you can actually turn things on or off. So I can turn on the DC power on or off, um, and it's very fast. The responsiveness of this, you can turn on and off the lights if you'd like. It's gonna be fast. You see your power flow, you see power coming from the grid, power coming from solar going into the unit. In this case, I don't have anything connected, so all you see is the unit providing power, and you can see what the consumption is going there. You can see how much is being, you know, it's gonna give you some statistical information here. Right now, we see a lot of it happening now because that's what we're pushing. And then there's also the ability to turn on drive mode that you see there on the right. So it works like an RC car, so you can control it from your phone. You do have different color themes that you can choose to give you kind of like a breathing effect if that's something that you'd like, or you can actually turn off the light as well. I think that it's a great a visual effect, especially if you're camping. The bottom line is that there is so much power, so much uh, capability coming from the Zender V4600 that it's just going to be able to satisfy a lot of your household needs. Key here is really understanding what your total consumption is gonna be. And I hope you saw that these simple devices that are around your home consume so much power. It's critical to understand how much power you need to power those devices. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.